Okay, so this morning we are heading off to Crick Boat Show, um, which would be nice. It's the second time we've been. We went last year, and when we went last year, we didn't have a boat, and um, so it was uh, it was more of an exploratory type thing, and it was really exciting to go around and look at the boats. And what we did was use Crick as a, a way of reaffirming whether whether we could fit into a boat, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, whether we could live on whether a boat. we could downsize enough to get onto one of the boats. And um, it got a resounding tick in the positive for us, so we decided that uh, that we would move forward with it. So obviously now we're on the boat, um, and this time going back to Crick is going to be a bit different because it's all about what do we want. We got list. Yeah, shopping list, yeah. solar, composting um, toilet. Yeah, that was another one that's come up out of the blue, composting toilet, windows. We just, we just don't like the pump out, uh, double glazed windows. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces really so um, so yeah we're, we're looking forward to it we're looking forward to it yeah very excited can't wait yeah, exactly definitely can't Yay. wait we're at Crick Boat Show and we're going to take you on a tour of some of the wide beam boats that are for sale at the moment unfortunately we could only get on one narrow boat because you needed an appointment to go on these this is the abode and we did consider buying this boat before we bought our aqualine. It's beautifully presented inside and makes a great floating home. It's got a fully fitted kitchen um, with smeg appliances and you'll see in a moment it's got a beautiful central island in the kitchen. Then going through to the saloon, you've got a lovely log burner, TV on the side. And then we're going to make our way into the second bedroom. It's got two bedrooms on this boat. And this is a double second bedroom with all cupboards. Loads of storage on these boats. And then the bathroom with bath and there is a shower behind me and then into the first bedroom this is the aqualine it's an updated version of our boat our boat was built in 2012 um, but you can imagine lovely gin and tonic on the back here it's got some beautiful seating and table you'll see in a moment there we go and down into the galley, so much storage on this um, boat, the kitchen is unbelievable. All the boats have got dishwashers, washing machines, fridge, freezers. This one's even got a dining room table and chairs for four. Beautiful saloon with a log burner. Going back to the kitchen, it's got the larder that um, our boat's got. That's it. Then in the hallway, you've got some office space. Going into the second bedroom, I don't think the camera does justice on this room because it's actually a large double bed in there. Lots more cupboard space. They've all got under bed storage as well. And going into the bathroom with a large shower. There's more storage in the hallway and then leading into the main bedroom. And yet again you've got four huge drawers underneath the bed. Loads of storage. We haven't even used all of ours in our, our boat at the moment. And then leading up to the, the front of the boat, the bow, Mark and I really fell in love with this canopy and the table that they've put in. So these are all new additions. This is the Monarch. It's a slightly shorter boat than the uh, previous wide beams we've seen. Um, it's got a slightly smaller kitchen, but all the same mod cons as all the other boats have had. Um, but the smaller kitchen means that you get a slightly larger lounge. We've also got a breakfast bar um, attached to the kitchen and the lounge has got the usual log burner. Going through to the bathroom, 
That's with the other wide beams. Um, it's got a shower, sink and toilet, porthole window. And this is the only bedroom on the boat at the front. Uh, lots and lots of cupboard space. This is the Pioneer and it's in between a narrow boat and a wide beam boat being nine foot wide. So because of that you can cruise more of the inland waterways in the UK. It's got all the standard kitchen with all the appliances, nice saloon and uh, log burner. This is a one bedroom uh, boat going through to the bathroom with shower, granite worktops and then the bedroom at the front. This is a wide beam from New Concept Boats. Unfortunately we forgot to take a picture of it whilst it was in the water. It's got a stunning kitchen with granite worktops, washing machine, fridge, freezer, lovely tiled wall at the end there, a nice light ceiling. And at 60 foot it was it was seemed like a really big space. The lounge was nicely laid out with the log burner in the middle. The second bedroom has a single bed which pulls down into a double and the bathroom has a P-shaped bath with shower over and porcelain sink. And then this is the first bedroom. It's quite a huge space at the front with wardrobes, bedside cabinets. And this is the um, Viking shaped uh, bow at the front. It's quite high. Gives you a lovely view in platform. And Mark and I really like this boat. It was a, a good price. This is a 57 foot semi traditional stern narrow boat uh, built by Phil Harrington at Stem to Stern and the um, still work was done by Nick Thorpe Boat Builders. I was really surprised how much space there was in the galley area. And going through to the saloon you've got an L-shaped dinette which folds down into a double bedroom and normally you'd have two chairs in the saloon area um, but the guys didn't put it in so it was easier for people to walk through. It's got walk-through bathrooms, you've got no corridors and then you've obviously got a full-size shower and toilet and sink area and then a walk-through to the bedroom at the front. up with Anna Marie and Kath from the Narrowboat Experience. <laughs> we bought one of their lovely badges from their store. You're shaking the camera with your leg. Sorry. <laughs> start. Let's start again. Well, I can just edit it from here anyway. I can edit you out. I think that's what I'll do.
We had a wonderful, absolutely wonderful day today, didn't we? Um, we had a look at the composting toilet, didn't we? Yeah, we talked about that, I think, before we went. Um, and that was something that we were talking to um, some friends of ours, and uh, they had one fitted, and it just sort of dawned on me that we just don't like the pump out. It's, we watched a minimalist's video when they did, um, they had a pump out and they got rid of their pump out. And they are inconvenient. I mean, there was a period we were out on the cart the last nine weeks, eight, nine weeks, and to be honest, we had, um, we had one period where the pump out was full, and not only could we not find a pump out, we just couldn't get any pump out cars from the CRT. They just didn't have any for about a week and a half. So, um, and at that point, you start to think to yourself, this is really that convenient. And actually, when you look for pump out spots, there's probably, I mean, in a 25 mile radius from effectively from Bradford on Avon up to um, you know milk house, milk house water. waters there's four I think couple, no, four yeah, pump out points maybe three that. no there's four there's one at Devizes Wharf yeah. there's one at uh, Pusey Wharf there's one at the Barge and there's one at uh, Bradford on Avon Lock right. so there's four in a 24 Something. maybe 26 mile stretch yeah. that's not a lot for 26 miles so if you're you know caught short so we, shall we say and your tanks ready to overflow. I what think the do? hardest thing was that uh, because you get a card to put in the uh, pump out to actually get it to work and you have to buy them cards from the Canal and River Trust and um, we went in to the Canal and River Trust office yeah. like three four times wasn't yeah, it? It was we a went, number of weeks wasn't it? We went into the office and bless them the volunteers in there or the people in the office they said uh, oh no we haven't got any there's some on order try uh, fox hangers. So we rang fox hangers and they said no, they don't sell them. Don't sell them. So then I was told to go to the museum, the cafe, sorry, at uh, Devizes Wharf because they hadn't. So I went there and they told me that they don't sell them anymore and they told me to go downstairs to the museum office. I went downstairs, the museum office was shut and said closed. And bear in mind this is like our third time going back to the CRT now. So, um, but luckily um, the door was open so I opened the door, called out, and somebody came from the back office and said, yes, we have some, you can buy them. Um, but at £17 a pop, that's quite a lot for emptying a waste tank. And you have to do that every couple of weeks, don't you? Yeah, so, so, so composting loo is the way to go. Yeah, composting loo, definitely. So we're, that's something that's going to cost us some, somewhere between 650 and £999, mm. depending yeah. on which toilet we go for but it's something we're definitely going to do. So that's one thing that we got from Crick. Solar. Yeah. That was what we were looking at, weren't we? Uh, yeah. Um, I went and spoke to the, um, there was a stand at Crick selling solar and he said it was going to cost about £1,500 for the whole kit, including three uh, 250 watt panels. So effectively, you know, you're looking at 750 watts of solar, which is a lot of energy, really. Um, but we're a big boat, so we can take it. Um, so that's something that we can look at. Also, when we had our engine service by Holland's Boats on Friday, he dropped into the conversation that he's just done the Victron solar course and is doing more and more solar. So I'm waiting for a quote from him as well. Um, if you're wondering why we didn't... <laughs> I was going to say, that's Eric down there snoring. <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering why we didn't get it from Semington Docks, it's because they never phoned us back. No, they didn't, um, did they? Eric. Eric. Stop snoring. Stop snoring. Another thing we bought from the boat show was this. And this is... <laughs> right, Eric. Shush. Another thing we bought from... Um, Crick boat show was this, it's a brolly mate and it fits onto your tiller well, when you've got the actual tiller arm on, it's not on there at the moment but it fits onto here and screws on and then you can put in an umbrella or a rotary line so to do your washing um, or even a parasol would go on there as well wouldn't it? Yeah, so, um, something very similar to that drives this boat Oh. Parasol. <laughs> According to you, anyway. <laughs> um, we also met some other YouTubers. We yep. met some subscribers as well, so that was quite nice. That we got one of the lovely badges. 
um, from the narrow boat experience, and we we went over and saw the girls there, didn't we? Yeah. And um, had a little chat because they had their stalls selling their paintings. Yeah. Um, so I had to get a little little narrow boat badge. And we bought the badge. It's not that we didn't want to buy one of the paintings. They're very very good. Um, you should check them out. But it's just that uh, I'm a skin flint, so yeah. we went for a badge. We went. <laughs> There's a memento. <laughs> um, we saw saw loads of people there, didn't we? Lots of subscribers yeah. were there, and um, the one regret we had is we didn't bump into Jono from Journey with Jono. Yeah, we looked for um, him, but we know he, we knew he was around, but um, our paths didn't cross, did they? Which was I'm okay. sure at one point I saw him hiding behind the bushes when he saw me coming. <laughs> I'm sure he must have done. Yeah. And minimalist were there the day before, weren't they? So yeah. we didn't didn't get to see them either. But no. um, it was a really wonderful day, wasn't it? It was fantastic. Really yeah. good. Fantastic. Thoroughly recommend it. Yeah. Thoroughly recommend it. So. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like. <laughs> Why is it I can't do it either? Thanks for watching. Um, if you could give us a thumbs up and like and comment, uh, we'd love to hear your comments and it would be fab if you could subscribe as well and click the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.